That's why I'm like lesbian. Because like, you can't do what a man can do. Yeah. You think that's why? Yeah. You can't give me dick. I mean, you know what I'm saying, though. Like. Oh, I can give you some dick. Yeah. <laughs> I can get you straight. <clears throat> it may not be warm and attached to my body. Oh, but I'm going to get you straight, though. You know what I mean? But I don't give a fuck about what a man can do. That don't make... You know what I'm saying? That don't make me no different. Because I can work with what I got. You know what I'm saying? Literally. What I bought. What I got. You know what I'm saying? I don't, and I never had a dick in my life. Like, I don't even know what it's like to have a penis. So... That can't affect me. What am I missing? I don't even know what I'm missing because I never had it, never will have it. And you know what I'm saying? We could do way more than what men do. I ain't even about to let you go. I ain't even about to let you get away with that. We could do way more than what men do. <laughs> way more. Okay? So, I'm going to need you to, you know what I'm saying, find that inner, inner nasty with, uh, with, uh, with you, Jamila. You know what I'm saying? Find that inner nasty because you already talking about I don't want a scissor. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the big scissoring fan, but maybe I haven't found the right scissor. You know what I'm saying? Because I, if it don't make me come, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's where you're coming from, but I'm just saying like, you, we do way more than what a man can do. That's all I'm saying. And that's my opinion. You know? I, I, I will set back on my mission. I didn't follow intuition. Back then I didn't want to listen But now I'm gunning for redemption I want redemption I want it, I got it I want redemption What's up y'all, she's your girl Nick G the host I need y'all to go subscribe to my girl Ashley M She currently has 36 subscribers I need y'all to go ahead and get her to 500 By the end of the day, y'all already know how I do She does reaction videos It looks like she just does reaction videos Which is dope, you know what I'm saying You're on the same grind I'm on uh, I need y'all to go support my peoples, man. It's free to subscribe to these people. It don't cost nothing. You know what I'm saying? Simple. Hit the subscribe button. It's going to be in the pinned comment and the description. Enjoy the video. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Now, Miss Chrissy <clears throat> and Jamila made a video about unpopular opinions, lesbian edition. Uh, several. Or maybe like a week and some change ago. And you know, I said that I was gonna stop reacting to Chrissy, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't really have you know, I don't I don't like saying bad shit about people if y'all haven't noticed, you know what I'm saying? Um It's almost like if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. You know what I'm saying? Just don't say it at all. And I didn't have nothing nice to say, y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna react to like her life and her vlogs and stuff like that. I don't have too much to say, but this unpopular lesbian edition opinion shit, maybe I need to react to this. A couple people told me to react to it. I told y'all no, I'm reacting to it. Hell, so just give me a damn second. If y'all need peer relief, make sure you hit the link in my description. You know what I'm saying? Fight off this anxiety with me. I am in it with you. You hear me. And um, you don't have to just smoke. You know, we have other things that you could do use as well. Just make sure you hit the link and you can see all the products that we have. Also, if you need merch, make sure you go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and get your merch. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm a one-man army. I try my best to, uh, to do everything, you know what I'm saying, in, in, in the right fashion. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to make sure I get you straight. Now... Let's get to this video. So, let's see what they're talking about. I, I just, I don't have nothing else to say at this moment. They get it. Oh, I'm eating um a Balance Breaks. It's a Monterey moder, moder, mm -mm, Jack Natural Cheese Walnut Oat Granola with Dark Chocolate and Golden Raisins. This is so fucking delicious. Okay? I just want y'all to know. All right, let's get it. Trigger warning, explicit content. We get off topic a lot in this video. So if you like like people who get off topic, I am sorry. Look at your skin. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. So today I have my girlfriend here, 
Milo 40K in the building. She's. Get it right. Okay. Milo 4K is in the building. She's here with me to make a video. Today I'm going to be doing unpopular opinions on lesbians and lesbian couples, just kind of just like anything that has to do with lesbians. Because I thought it would be a good idea because there's a lot of like stereotypes and stuff about lesbians that I feel like aren't true. I wanted it to do with my girlfriend because she's also a lesbian. So I made her do this video of me. Great. Yeah. Lesbians just haven't found the right guy yet. That's what yeah, I disagree. Like, feel like well, depends. For the women who haven't ever had sex with a man, I feel like you should give a man an opportunity. Mm -mm, that ain't come out right. I feel like you should, if you want to experience it, I feel like you should go ahead, choose the right one. You know what I'm saying? And um, get it out your system. And if that ain't what you want, fuck them. Yeah, because they haven't found Yeah, yeah. You feel like that's true? No. No. I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true either. I feel like, mm. me personally, she don't believe this, but I do. I believe that I was born gay. I've been liking vision since I was young, like kindergarten, like before kindergarten down here. I used to have crushes on my teachers, on the girls in class. Like, I always had, like, I just was always, at least I always liked females, for sure. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna disagree with her on that because I was liking girls real early and I didn't understand it. Like, society says you're supposed to like a man, but I'm over here looking at her ass and it's like, why? You know what I'm saying? You even try to fight it. As a lesbian, you try and fight yourself, you know? And that plays a part in I wanna do what the fuck I wanna do. Shit, I like pussy. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me do me. I feel yeah. like I haven't found the right guy, so that's why I'm getting like, no. I like girls, like, I'm I love women. Guy for them, so I don't think mm -hmm. I don't think that. I mean that too. I feel like you gay. And dating God. It wasn't I wasn't like oh my god, I can't do that. I wasn't that girl that dated a guy and got my heart just totally broken. I didn't go through that. You know what I'm saying? We kinda just didn't agree. Hell, I was playing him, he was playing me. Shit. Mm -hmm. But I don't want no man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no man, bro. I'm good. You know, so yeah. A lot of people, you can tell like a real gay person from a fake person. I think that's kind of like an excuse. You think so? Yeah. Nice. I like your opinion. I like your unpopular opinion. You goofy. Yeah, I, mean, I like Miller's opinion in general. I don't think that's true. Because I feel like someone that, a lesbian that hates men. I don't know, it depends on the circumstance. But I feel like personally it's doing too much. Like I hate when lesbians like try too hard to act lesbian in front of other lesbians. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can, you can tell though. Yeah. That shit is annoying facts. That shit gets on my nerves. Facts. Like, uh uh, cause my girlfriend look. Why are you so loud? We in the lover. I just like man. That's probably like insecurity. I don't want to be like always oh, getting mad when people talk about me. I don't care about what they're talking about. Girl. I feel like I'm like lesbian. Because like, you can't do what a man can do. Yeah. You think that's why? Yeah. You can't give me dick. I mean, you know what I'm saying, though. Like. Oh, I can give you some dick. Yeah. <laughs> I can get you dick. It may not be warm and attached to my body. Oh, but I'm going to get you straight, though. You know what I mean? But I don't give a fuck about what a man can do. That don't make... You know what I'm saying? That don't make me no different. Because I can work with what I got. You know what I'm saying? Literally. What I bought. What I got. You know what I'm saying? I don't... And I never had a dick in my life. Like, I don't even know what it's like to have a penis. So... That can't affect me. What am I missing? I don't even know what I'm missing because I never had it, never will have it. And you know what I'm saying? Uh. You can't, like, female, I feel, I feel like personally that's why females don't like men. Like, like that, like what you're studs? saying. Studs? Yeah, yeah. I feel like studs got a type of jealousy for men. Some studs. I'm not going to say jealous because I'm not jealous of dudes. So I don't like I it. I just know how they are. So, like, I'll be around dudes all the time. I know what the fuck they be on, so I don't like when she's around other dudes. I mean, I, just, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I, Millie, you just you just insecure at this point. <laughs> I mean, if she says she don't like them, then she, you know what I'm saying? She don't like them. I trust you, but I don't trust niggas. 
Ooh, let's talk about that bitch. Ooh, I want to talk about that. It kind of has nothing to do with it, but I want to talk about it anyways because I was thinking about it in the car. Do you think that's fucked up for someone to say to somebody? Like, like if you, like, I trust you, but I don't trust other females. Don't you think it's kind of fucked up? If you trust your significant other, then you shouldn't have to worry about the other person, like, I don't know. Coming out to them? Yeah, well, no, I'm not, not coming out to them because even if they did, like, you, I feel like it's still, like, a worry that, like, your significant other would, like, because that's like me saying oh, I trust you but I don't trust other bitches like, that's what she I just said like, though trust other people like I don't know no I know what you're saying but like, I trust you like I trust you enough to be around you but I don't trust them because I know their they don't intentions own shit. yeah they don't they don't owe me shit and I know their intentions but they can have all the intentions they want but at that point you have to trust your woman like you can't be with her everywhere she go nigga you know what I'm saying so if she at the store and a nigga try to holler at her, hell, even if, I need to do my own video about this. Like, lesbians who, lesbians who get hollered at, first of all, all women get hollered at, let's be very clear. But women that get hollered at, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're right there, what you gonna do? Whoop his ass? No, like, I want you to holler at mine. Shut your ass up, girl. I want you to holler at mine, you know what I'm saying? If a nigga ain't hollering at your woman, something wrong with that. If he ain't looking at... I, I, my girl will walk by. Any woman I've ever had will walk by. I'm looking at him. looking at her. Then I look at her. She ain't paying his ass no attention. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to go through it. My daddy told me a long time ago, what you going to do? Take his eyes out? You know what I'm saying? You better deal with that shit. Fuck it. Let your woman be fine. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> that was not fair. I mean, I... Okay, we can agree to disagree. <laughs> I understand. She doesn't do this. We start talking about that. Okay, I, I don't feel like that's fair because I feel like, like I said, I don't know. I just feel like it's like if you trust me, then it shouldn't matter if you trust the other person or not because right. you should know that my intentions are with you and like my loyalty with you. Yeah, but what if you wasn't loyal? That's the you thing. You don't really know somebody 100%. That makes sense. Well, I, I agree. Know. I agree yeah, with that. Too. So if you wasn't loyal and they were trying to talk to you and you was feeling I would never know anything about it because they not gonna tell me because they were trying to fuck with you. No, nah, she was never yours then. She was she was never yours. She was always somebody else's. If a, if a woman is giving anybody the opportunity to fuck with them while they are dating somebody else, she was never yours. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. So no, I'm not saying yeah. that was a nice comeback. Gotcha. All right, I guess I kind of agree. Uh, every lesbian uses strap irons and dildos to take the place of men. <laughs> no, like uh, so. What I, is, I've never. I'm freshly using the strap. Like, it's <laughs> nah. I don't think I'm trying to take their place. She's trying to take their place. No, I just want to make her feel like honestly, fingers is not just gonna do nothing forever. Like if I marry, like if I marry her, or if I marry a, a girl, I end up being with a girl for the rest of my life. Fingers are not about to step like some lesbians satisfy fully, not completely, bro. I'm sorry, complete no. Yes. So 100 percent. Yes. So they, girl, I don't care what nobody say. I think every female have like a type of like, sensation, curiosity when it comes to having sex with men because they like. It's not even just a curiosity. It's actually a sensation. If you used to have sex with men, and then you, nigga, if you used to have sex with men <clears throat> and you stop. And just completely have sex with a woman. Now, I've been with a woman that done that. And let me tell you something. It did not go well. It did not go well. She was yearning for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Fiending for that shit from a man. And not just his dick, though. It, she was fiending for him as a man. Him. You get what I'm saying? So, that means that she likes men. So, if a woman don't like the strap and she just like fingers or whatever... A form of penetration for some women is good enough. They don't have to have a additive strap. You could do other things with them. You know what I'm saying? Which might be boring to you, which is definitely boring to me. If you don't want a strap, then oh baby girl, I can't even. I can't even. You know what I am? Mean? I want to do me. You know? I'm, I'm gonna have to make this video. But I've already, I've already had sex with a man before, so why would I be curious if I already had sex with a man? What you mean, why would you be but curious? But you still like the strap, though. <laughs> I said that, and I'm like, that'd make no sense, but I'm just going to not say it. Exactly. <laughs> but no, I 
I don't disagree. I don't think I'm trying to take the place of my other man. I feel like I just want to please my girlfriend. A hundred percent. She knows. Think no, right, but like, it's not gonna do it forever. Yes, it will. So you want to try to go right off the trip? Exactly. <laughs> Why are you lying? I'm just saying, like, I sincerely feel like there's like lesbian couples out there that's never used a strap. It is. Yeah, I I was that couple. I, I just told oh, you. Oh yeah. You didn't like doing that. You wanted to do more. Yeah, I kind of wanted to do more, and I wanted to please them more because like it's boring as fuck. Don't don't don't, don't come into this shit with limitations. I hate that shit. Like. Oh, you so fine. I just want to, mm, but, uh, yeah, ground rules. I don't want you to lick my ass. You can't poke me in the pussy. You can't, uh, give me the strap. At this point, you know what I'm saying, we just going to bump and grind, and I eat your cootie cat a little bit. Like, who the fuck want that? <laughs> I don't want that. I need all my additives. I'm trying to give you this goddamn, this, this, this whole treatment. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I even like did this with Deja. So when Deja had this girlfriend, I told him I was like, y'all, because they said they, they would never use a strap. She straight, gay, blah, blah, blah. No. I told her, you're going to want to use a strap. Fingers is not going to cut it. Mm -hmm. A year later. Actually, not even a year later. Probably like six months later, they started using a strap. Mm -hmm. Like, people get, it's not even about being bored. It's just like you're trying to make it more exciting. That's true. That's being bored. <laughs> That's funny. We can only really do two things. And I'm not scissoring. So three. I'm talking about if you didn't have a strap. And, and that that eat. scissor shit. That scissor shit don't make me come. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I'm I'm being real, real blunt in this video, ain't I? Um <laughs> that scissor shit. Mm -mm, I need to come, baby. I, I I need to I need to, you know what I'm saying, get all that out. You know. All that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or I'm sorry, I'm trying to find something. That's it. So we married. Yeah, but plus they have a dick. They can do everything that we can do, plus more. Plus a dick. That's not what I'm talking about. No, hell no. What you say? I'm talking about if you didn't have a strap, we can only literally eat. Or that's it. So we married. Yeah, but plus they have a dick. They can do no, 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 ma'am, no, ma'am. We can do way more than what men do. I ain't even about to let you go. I ain't even about to let you get away with that. We can do way more than what men do. <laughs> way more. Okay? So, I'm going to need you to, you know what I'm saying, find that inner, inner nasty with, uh, with, uh, with you, Jamila. You know what I'm saying? Find that inner nasty because you already talking about I don't want a scissor. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the big scissoring fan, but maybe I haven't found the right scissor. You know what I'm saying? Because... I, if it don't make me come, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? So maybe that's where you're coming from. But I'm just saying, like, you, we do way more than what a man can do. That's all I'm saying. And that's my opinion, you know. We can do plus more. Plus a dick. That's not what I'm going to say. I can talk about this another time because I will keep going. Every lesbian relationship has to have a stud and a femme because someone has to be the man and someone has to be the woman. I disagree. I don't like that at all. I personally don't think I could be in a relationship with a girly bitch, but I definitely fucked with, with a girly her. bitch. I always like fucked with girly bitches, always. And she don't believe that, and that should be pissing me off. I always fucked with girly bitches, but I can't be in a relationship. I feel like it's just doing way too much. Like, she got to act too low. Like, I'm still a girl, but I have a nigga mindset as well. So, like, yeah, it's like weird. If you were a girly girl and another girly girl, it's just gonna be a lot of drama and one and arguments all the time. Why do you want to fight? Who won't all that? But how do you feel about that? You think I want to date another stud. Like, I can't do that. Like, I like girls. Facts. So, facts. I don't Feminine like women. Dress so, you feel. So you and and like, I'm, I'm not against. Okay, y'all, I'm about to find it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> I'm not against. Um. I'm not against studs, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I, do, do I ever, will I ever, however, no, never, uh, well, I look at a stud and be like, mm, like, mm, mm. <laughs> like, I just, I'm not attracted. And you could be the finest, because you're still a girl, you could be the finest girl in the room, and you a stud, and I, I can't, I, I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at the one that's below you. She might be a little ugly, but, hey. I don't want you. <laughs> Girls that like studs like men. You think studs like men? No, I'm saying do you think girls that like women that dress, dress up? Yes, we know. Yes, we know. 
I feel like they like the image of them, like they're out the, on the outside, but they still they like, like girls. girls. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> that's weird. Uh, that's kind of, I don't know. Um, you can't say you don't like dudes a hundred percent if you date somebody that dresses like a dude. But what about a time boy? That's not just like a dude. A time I totally disagree. Like, I wish I was here. I wish I was there. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, it's not about the person that's holding the meat. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so let me say this. It's it is about the person that's holding the meat. Not about the clothes that's on the meat, right? So behind all these clothes, it's a girl with some boobies and an ass that's giving you that meat, right? <laughs> this video is very, very, very not edited out, okay? And with a man, you know what I'm saying? It's a man giving you the meat. But just because you have on male clothes does not mean that you you still potentially want a man to give you the meat. Like, I completely disagree. Because behind this shirt is some titties. But it looks like a man's shirt. You know what I'm saying? So, when you look at me, you know what I'm saying? If if you like what you see, you don't see a man chest. So, I got to make my own video. I'm with they don't like girls. But they just dress like a girl. I mean, I like a dude. But that's... That's a tomboy. But that's... That's, that's, that's a label as not... fuck. What is wrong with you? That's labeling like a bitch. Fem lesbians are pretending to be lesbian. I don't agree with that. You don't? No. Because you can't just say, like, fem stud. First of all, I don't like those labels. Well, I say stud. I call myself a stud because that's what y'all know me for. Because that's what it's known for. Like, like, me dressing like this is called a stud. So I can't just say. I don't like I don't like to label people either. I, I just call myself a fem all the time. I just call myself a stem. Like, bitch, I'm fucking everybody. Like, But I don't really care. Like, I'm grown. I don't know. I just don't. I never was in that way, like the film stud way. I never was in that shit. Like, so you just I, never like. I never let myself. Like I'm me. Yeah. Good. I don't even call myself gay. Nice. I just feel like I like what I like. Yeah. I don't want to be labeled gay. None of that. I, I, I support the LGBT, but you know I'm LGBT. not. LGBT. I'll make sure you said it right. <laughs> no comment. This is all studs have short hair and are overweight. Overweight. It's for I'm underweight. <laughs> so that's definitely false. Next. Shit, I fall in that category. I always hear that. That lesbians don't shave. Like, what the fuck? I get waxed and I make it known to the internet that I get waxed. I get everything waxed. I don't like hair at all. Like, that is just. I personally just can't have myself hairy. Like, it's just uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't want to eat no hairy pussy, so. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I shaved my cat. And I shave my underarms, but I like hair on my legs, so. Oh. Well, I think it doesn't look cute, so no. I'm not about to shave my arms. Shave me, bitch. <laughs> Period. I'm getting pissed. I hate when people say that. <laughs> but I know people though. I know a lot of people that don't shave, like for real, for real. They don't shave at all. Mm -mm. And I don't understand how they can do that. You still look mm -hmm. girl at the end of the day. Like you gotta take care of yourself. Like, you know, and I get my chin wet. Right? So you think? <laughs> can you? hate when girls have like that half hair like that half fucking you think that you a man because you got facial hair which is half because it ain't even portion like no i get waxed this is not a secret i don't give a fuck how anybody feel about that i wax all of this now i don't, don't want to wax nothing else because i feel like that's gonna hurt and it's already hurt you know what i'm saying but if chin if, if hair is up under my chin it got to go uh-uh Oh, I'm be like, like, I, I do this when it ain't no hair there. Like, still as a dyke, like, that's nasty, bro. You're still a girl. You need to take care of yourself. So like, you think facts. that shaming is something a woman should do? Yes. And that should be a must. Facts. At least shaving, waxing, whatever you got to do to get, make the hair go away. Mm -hmm. So facts. you don't do that. I don't know why, but shit. I don't like them. I can't do it. It says lesbians try to recruit straight women. That was one of those. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, girl, I, in I, high school, it was yeah. over I had a couple oh, straight girls with damn so. My old ex, but I don't, I feel like she was gay, she just didn't come out, personally. But everybody I did was gay, or 
like girls in some type of way. So, but in my opinion, I would not suggest dating. If you gay, you know you gay, and you want to spend the rest of your life with a male, or you want to spend the rest of your life with a female. I would not suggest to date someone that's bisexual because it's so much easier for them to cheat on you. Because like you don't know. In my opinion, I don't like dating people that's bisexual because you don't know their intentions. Like, do you really want to fuck with me? Are you really gay? Or are you really straight? Like, you know what I've heard? I've heard that bisexuals, which I can be wrong, please do not fucking quote me, um, that a lot of, like, bisexuals get STDs. Like, they yeah, get STDs. because they, they... Like, the men. The men get STDs because, because they, they be fucking bitches yeah. and they go back and fuck dudes and shit. When I went to Maryland High School, they taught us um, about that shit. They said that basically, the, like, gay men when they started STDs and shit. Now, that is true. Gay men did start STDs. Um, well, it can, well, no. First of all, it wasn't solely the gays. They had, like, crack... They, they they started putting crack in the black community um, and people were starting to obviously you you when you use crack you use a needle right um, and the people in the community started sharing needles and they was giving each other HIV and AIDS but that is a stigma also gay men you know what I'm saying is a stigma as well but it didn't solely come from gay men I hate that saying you know what i'm saying but with bisexuals like all bisexuals is not throwing that ass back and forth and back and forth when they when they messing with somebody you know what i'm saying you you can date somebody that's saying i'm a lesbian i only like who they are and they dead ass just got through you know what i'm saying getting beat beat down by a dude you know what i'm saying and you don't even know you don't even know. You have no idea because they ain't even telling you the truth. You know what I'm saying? So all of that, you know, I don't know. Everybody think differently. I'm going to have to do this video myself because clearly everybody just don't have the same, you know what I'm saying, mindset. And I'm not against nothing that they're saying. They That's their opinion. I'm just saying, like, give me a small commercial break while my camera uh cool off. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Y'all look that up. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not educated. I'm okay. not of that. So I'll please don't like. Yeah. No. If you if you gay and you know you gay, don't mess with nobody bisexual. You probably it's a or say if you know you gay, don't mess. I advise anybody to mess with somebody bisexual. Let me tell you something about a life lesson you will learn, and how heartbreak is very real, and how. You get a realization of it's a possibility that she's going to want a man. You cannot be mad if any woman you fall in love with decides she want to date a man. What you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, kill her. Like, she like men. She had a change of heart. Things got different. I never, I, of course I'd be heartbroken, but I'm not. Since I've gone through that. I know what it feels like. I know what to look out for. I think you should try it. I think you should try it. I think you should. I think you should uh, uh, anticipate heartache. That's the word. Anticipate heartache because it's going to come. But learn to deal with it. Move on. You'll learn your lesson. <laughs> That's for somebody that isn't completely gay. Pretty much. Yeah. Just I feel you like never know who's completely gay. Go ahead. Um, I just Never. because I feel like they don't know for sure what they want and like you're gonna end up getting hurt in the end of these kids. Well, I know from experience, so. I don't. This is the first girl that I've dated that's completely gay. I've always dated straight girls. I can't relate. I would never date no straight bitch. I'm always cut straight girls. I would fuck a straight bitch, for Facts. sure. But I would not. No. I would never get no feelings involved with a straight bitch because I feel like, like you said, I feel like they're not, like they don't. Really? It'll be I a sexual relationship for sure. I feel like they like the feeling of girls, but, but they don't want to cuff one. Yeah, like, like, like they don't want to marry one. Yeah. Being a lesbian is just a phase. You know my dad told me that. He, when he found out, I was everybody gay, dad like, told him that. He gonna say, you know what lesbians do? And I was like, what? He's like, eat ass. That's true. That's crazy. I went through the same shit. My mama was like, so you gonna be eating ass? I was like, what you mean eating ass? <laughs> Stop cussing. Like, oh, sorry. I'm saying, you said it. What you mean doing that? And she's like, you know what I'm saying? Girls like it all. So you're going to lick some ass. And listen, you know I ain't going to say that, mama, because I love you. 
Just know. <laughs> I'm still gay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Like, that was hilarious. He was going in on me. But he don't care now, clearly. He really, he's, he's like so supportive of that shit. But when he first found out, when I was like 16, it was over with. But I don't feel like it was just, just a phase. No one ever told me. None of my family or nothing ever told me it was a phase. I don't think everybody go through a phase, but some people do. Right. Yeah. Like you think they just like want to experiment? Yeah. Then, people are curious. Like, everybody curious. Yeah. So. That ain't no problem. Yeah. I feel like, I, I'd be scared for somebody to experiment. Like say I was gay and you came up to me and I wanted to experiment with you. But you wanted to really be with me, but then like at the end I feel like I would just want to go back to dudes. Mm -hmm. Like that would be fucked up. Like on your part. Like I mean like on my part it'd be fucked up to like put you do that. That's what I know that's what you do. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, that's so sad. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> you know. That is so sad. That was crazy. Though. And y'all was together for a minute. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for Jamila, bro. You just be going through it with bitches, bro. You think I'm a heartbreaker, bro. I get my heart broken. Yeah. Facts. I feel like I want to talk about like lesbians being able, like studs being able to hang around girly girls. Oh yeah. I think that's like okay, or would you have a problem with it? I don't know, cause you're fun as fuck. You goofy. Like, are you talking about random bitches? Yeah. Like, what if I just met? So, I have a lot of friends that I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? And they're not femmes though. They're not lesbians. They they girly girls. And I do have. Uh, friends that are fems <clears throat> that I'm cool with we never looked at each other like that none of that now this might be where I'm insecure at but you know you have to admit your insecurities and your flaws bitch I'm an open book I don't care at this point hell people gonna judge you anyway you know what I'm saying so am I too quick to and my girl was like all right I'm gonna go chill with uh you know little Momo and I'm like who the fuck is that and she like Oh, this stud that I've been cool with for how many years? And I, you know, I might feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all could definitely be smashing. But I don't feel like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like my girl wouldn't do it. I feel like she would. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> it's just, with men and women, I definitely am hypocritical. I'm cool with admitting that. You know what I'm saying? With men, it's just different. And with women, it's just different. And with studs, it's just different. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I don't know. I had a friend, you feel me? And she was a really girl. And I wanted to be friends with her, hang out, talk shit. See, that's a problem. That's so fucked up. You gotta realize I'm a girl still. Okay, so you wanna be hanging out with another set? Yeah! Yo, that's real stuff. That's not, no, see, you was talking about us meeting new people and blah, 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 like, no. What, and think. you know what, older people, like, people that you, they already knew? Now, you can't do nothing about that. But new people, that's kind of different. Don't hurt. I'm talking about somebody that I just met. Just like you. You said if you just met a friend and you want to hang out and shit. So, if I just wanted to, like, meet a friend and go hang out and shit, how would you feel? I'm not insecure, so I wouldn't care. <laughs> Yeah, you would. She been talking about she, how she would care the whole time. I would not care. No face, do it different. You lying. Look at you beat me up. You are. <laughs> See, what you care though? Like, I probably would feel some type of way a little bit, but I'm not gonna say no. You can hang around. Yeah. I'm, right. I'm gonna break my chill. Right. And try to trust you. I don't like I'm control. I don't like controlling. Nobody controlling me, and I don't wanna control nobody. I don't care. I'm attractive. So I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I know at the end of the day you're going to come fuck with me. Okay. If I didn't trust you, then no, you're not. You're on lock. So if you've never met the bitch, you never seen her in person, nothing. I just showed you a picture like, hey, one of Oh, no, friends. I want to meet them first. Oh, facts. Because that's how I feel. I want to meet them Yeah, facts. I want to meet them first. See their intentions. Yeah. Have a little conversation. Because I could read somebody like that. I facts. can kind of. I can read somebody. So you, okay, so this is another, oh, you just. Ugh. Okay, so say that you met this bitch and y'all went out. Huh? Facts. Bitch? I call for milk bitches. <laughs> so like, like, naughty bitch. head. Uh, so like, what if you met her and then like y'all went to hang out or whatever, and then you felt like a vibe that she liked you? What would you do? Would you like? I'm not gonna chill with her no more. Would you tell me? Yes. That? I was just gonna say I'm gonna tell you like I can't fuck her no more for like she tried to fuck. I agree. I appreciate you. That's so nice. But what if you like liked her friendship? Like, well. I don't know, cause I, I've, it's you know here lately it's been a lot of girls, you know what I'm saying that like the kid. 
I think it's been like that. But now my my confidence in the way I carry myself is more attractive than what I, you know, really than what you may see. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, it's just like you can tell when a girl flirting with you and shit. You can tell when they wanna fuck with you, but you know, I can ignore all that shit. I can act like it's not even happening. You know what I'm saying? And 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 still won't acknowledge it, especially if you don't acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna be awkward. But <clears throat> Don't nobody want to just sit around that, especially somebody that's harboring on like they want to fuck with you, but you they know you fuck with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't all. You still wanted to be her friend. Girl, ain't no friendship that important to me. If it ain't Sid, Regine, and the Deja, I don't give a fuck. Not Regine. And that's facts. When I used to work at Arby's, I mean, this girl that was in a penny, what are those relationships? When you be pansexual. Blameless. Yeah, she was in a polygamous relationship, oh, polygamous. and she was talking to me, and she was like, my boyfriend is gay, and I like girls too, so we both gay, so I let him go fuck girl dudes, and I can go fuck bitches whenever I want to. And I, I was asking her, I was like, how can you do that? Like, I can't do that. Like, yeah, that's a bunch of that. I'm like, too scared of STDs for that. For that. But, <laughs> would you do that? Hell no, no. I couldn't. No. Fuck no. Like you go fuck other people. Like okay, a threesome I feel like it's different because we're both fucking the same person and it's only three of us. I mean they're probably fucking other people but ooh, see that? I'm too like, I can't just like fuck anybody. And like, no, no, definitely. No, no, mm -mm, yeah, I don't do that. If you told me that you wanted to go fuck other people, I'd be like, all right. I'm moving out. Okay, guys, we're gonna end this video right here because the camera died, and I feel like we talked about enough. That was very interesting. I'm like, I'm watching your opinions. Talking about our opinions. I like doing it with somebody because I feel like when I'm by myself, like I'm just talking to myself. Yeah, but if you have a conversation with somebody, it's different. Yeah, because you get two different opinions. Yeah. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thumbs up and make sure you follow all my social media. I'm gonna put my girlfriend's social media on the screen too and her channel below. So make sure that you go subscribe to that because she be having some funny ass videos. I'm a boring bitch, but she's not. Damn, I'm glad you know that. Because <laughs> I definitely like Jamila content over Chrissy's. But, um, I don't know. Let me know if y'all want me to do that video. And if y'all do, put your questions in the pinned comments specifically. What, if you want me to do this in the pinned comment, I need you to ask me the questions. And I will answer them via video. But alright y'all, for, for more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world and that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo, I cut the logo, I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three, pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right, okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time, you know what I'm saying? Then, I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.